Okay, I'm assuming that the students that are watching these videos have uh, been exposed to the rules for doing adding and subtracting long ago, and that you're relearning this or trying to uh, learn it better at this point. Okay, so I have mostly upper elementary, middle school students in mind when I'm doing these videos, just to keep that in mind. Okay, now most of you, I'm assuming, learned how to subtract and you learn about borrowing. Like, for instance, if I have 5 from 9, now there's 9 minus 5, that's a bigger number than this, and there's no problem. Uh, I can take 9 minus 5, and it's going to be 4. Okay? But what about this one? Here's a 2 on top and a 4 on the bottom. You can't take 4 from 2, but it, you can think of this as a number ending in 2. So you could somehow turn this into a 12, and then subtract 4 from 12. That's the trick. And the way they usually get the, the 1 out in front of the 2 to make it a 12 is to borrow from over here. So you take 1 away from the 7, make that a 6, and you put a 1 in front of this. So now that's 12. So that's borrowing. It's a big mess. You make a lot of scratch work. And when you have zeros in the top, you have to borrow from here, and you end up scratch, 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 and you end up borrowing from all the way over here. It's a big mess. You don't have to ever borrow. Here's how to subtract without borrowing. I can pretty much show you the whole thing in one big problem. And so I would suggest that you practice this method even in smaller problems. But let's just go through and see how to subtract here without borrowing. Okay, I'm going to start at the beginning. And remember this, when you're subtracting, you get an answer. When you want to check your answer, you add the answer to the bottom number, and it should come out to the top number, okay? So if I have 9 minus 5 and I get 4, I should be able to take 4 plus 5, and that should give me 9. So this number plus this number gives me that number. So in other words, you can say something plus 5 equals 9, and that's the way you can even figure out what this number is. I think of it as puzzle addition. 5 and what makes 9? Well, how about 4? Okay, then say to yourself, 5 and 4 is 9, no problem. Let's erase this and keep going. 2 and what makes 5? Well, 2 and 3 makes 5. So that's going to be your number here. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now here, 4 plus something can't equal 2 because that's smaller than 4. So it has to be 12. In other words, it has to be a number ending in 2. So what plus 4 gives me a number that ends in 2? Well, 8 plus 4 gives me 12. And since I'm adding, think of it as an addition problem. 8 and 4 is 12. Carry the 1. But we're adding upside down, so carry to the bottom. Just put a little dot right there. Okay, now that's a 5. 5 and 2 make 7. Okay, let's go to the next one. 5 plus something ends in a 3. So that has to be a 13, because 3 is smaller than 5. And we, you know that 8 plus 5 is 13. So you say, 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1. That's now a 4. 4 and 5 makes 9. Okay, so each of these places where you would normally borrow Instead, you carry to the bottom. So let's keep going. So 5 and 4 added up to 9. 4 plus something ends in a 2. 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry the 1. This is now an 8. 8 and 2 makes 10. And since that's a 10, you have to carry the 1. That's a 10. And 0 is 10. And since that's a 10, you have to carry the 1, interestingly. So that's a 3, and 7 is 10, carry the 1. This is 4, and 9 is 13, carry the 1. 5 and 6 is 11, carry the 1. 3 and 1 is 4, no carry here. 5 and 3 is 8. Look at that. We're done. No scratching out, no big mess, and adding is easier than subtracting. And carrying is easier than borrowing. We did this whole thing without any borrowing. 
We just uh, thought of it as an upside down addition problem and we carried to the bottom. And if you think of it like that, you can do any subtraction from here to the rest of your life without ever having to borrow again. So try it. I found one reason that a lot of students have trouble doing long division is there's a step of long division that involves subtracting. And subtracting, if it gets into borrowing, it starts making a mess of the whole problem. And it makes long division harder, makes all kinds of things harder. So learning how to subtract efficiently, with no mess, no fuss, just carry instead of borrow, and you'll be way ahead. Okay, that's all I have to say here.